Welcome to this segment for Take One for Ag. Uh, joining us today is Dr. Scott Brown. He is an Associate Extension Professor in the College of Agriculture and the College's Director of Strategic Partnerships. Oh, Scott, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Joe. Thanks for having me on. Scott here, I think it was last week, I, you spent a little time down in Jeff City. Jeff City's opened back up. Spent a little time with the Missouri Joint Committee on Agriculture, uh, talking a little bit about COVID-19 and its impacts on the Missouri agriculture. So um, you did a little bit of analysis in terms of what impacts COVID-19's already had. Can you share a little bit of your insights of what you shared with the committee? Yeah, Joe, so it was, it was a chance to try to talk about now COVID-19, and sometimes I, I will say I think we're out of the, maybe the worst of the COVID-19 effects unless we have another serious um, amount of cases. And so it's good to start to try to quantify what that means for agriculture. And so doing the work uh, for the Joint Committee on Agriculture uh, here in the state of Missouri, uh, just really focused on what's the cash receipt change been. And I, I reminded them that you know, we're talking about an industry that generates a little shy of $10 billion annually in cash receipts here in Missouri. Um, that if you look at the effects from COVID-19, we've probably lost about $850 million. So, you know, not quite 10% uh, loss in cash receipts, but it's certainly hurt a, a, a number of our Missouri ag industries uh, as, as we've dealt with some of the challenges associated with COVID-19. You talked a little bit about that 850 million being about 10 percent. So maybe you could share with us a little bit more of the breakdown there of a by commodity and which commodities were hit harder than others. Yeah, so you know we're a big cattle state, uh, number three in terms of uh, beef cows in the in the country. Uh, so you look at the cattle one, and and that's one that's that's taken a fairly large hit. Uh, you know, as a result, and and I would always say those commodities that required the most further processing that had their own bottlenecks. And, and in the case of both uh, beef, pork, poultry, uh, we had a situation where food service basically was shut down. That created some real issues. Couple that with COVID-19 outbreaks in some of those processing plants, uh, it, it exacerbated the problem. So cattle and hogs and poultry really led the way. Uh, you look at the grain side of the equation, grains and oil seeds, you, you probably talk about corn first. And that was really just associated with people driving less. Uh, I, I think you and I both have probably spent a lot less money on gasoline uh, as we've worked from home of late. And that certainly affected the ethanol industry and ultimately corn prices. Uh, so those are the ones we really talk about as, as being most important. And again, I always like to remind everyone that, you know, the 850 million, uh, change that we're talking about uh, in, in cash receipts is, is does hinge a lot on uh, that we don't see a big uh, rebirth uh, in the number of, of cases of COVID-19 that were to shut the economy down again. We have to talk about uh, for, for the recovery, I guess, at this point. So, Sky, I appreciate you sharing a little bit there, breakdown by commodity. So, and, and obviously, livestock's an important commodity here in the state. So, uh, here last week, we had some news coming out about direct payments and CFAP. Uh, could you talk a little bit more about what impact that's going to have in terms of some of this income in Missouri? Yeah, so for sure, you know, with the $16 billion in uh, payments to producers across the, the country as a result of the third stimulus act, the CARES Act at the federal level. We now have the coronavirus food assistance program. Um, I, we try to take a little bit of look at what we think maybe the potential opportunity is for Missouri producers uh, to, to gather a portion of that money. And uh, given where we set in terms of, of cash receipts and some other measures, you know, we're currently estimating, we think that uh, the, the CFAP money will provide somewhere between 500 million and 700 million uh, in additional revenue to producers in the state. That doesn't completely offset the loss of cash receipts that we saw, but it certainly goes a long way. So it, it's just important to realize that uh, producers are gonna see some direct help as a result of, of the CFAP program. Um, and, and again, we, we might see further uh, uh, dollars coming from Washington DC as we look forward as well. We'll just have to wait and see whether there's a fourth uh, stimulus bill that provides even additional money uh, for Missouri producers, but it starts to give you the overall effect that we expect to see for Missouri agriculture here in 2020 as we've dealt with COVID-19. 
Well, the seed fat money may, may not be the, uh, the way the producers intended revenue to come, but it's sure going to be welcome, not just to producers, but the whole ag industry and, and rural Missouri. So some good news there. So Scott, I want to thank you for joining us on this segment of Take One for Ag. So uh, and to our viewers out there, uh, stay tuned for future issues of Take One for Ag on our social media platforms. Thank you.